Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Italy! And I've already recorded this episode. In fact, I've already recorded the next two episodes, except that I didn't because my hard drive decided that it should explode and eat those recordings. Which is very, 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 very upsetting. So, I'm gonna have to be replaying some stuff, which is fine! I mean, Hearts of Iron is a lot of fun, but the problem is, I'm gonna be in a lot of situations where I'm like, did, did I talk about this already? Did I say this already? Am I repeating myself? Plus, some actions that may have happened in the game may not happen this time and will be different because the AI again is not following historical uh, focuses. So who knows what we're going to do? I'm happy that we still have this situation where the United Kingdom has fallen because that's very interesting and we have no idea what they're going to do. In my previous go, what they did is they went uh, changing course, which you have to. They went King's Party. <laughs> which I think was a perfect and wonderful. Um, it mostly keeps them kind of isolated, which was lovely. Meanwhile, we have France over here who's becoming more and more communist, so that is going to be well. They didn't join the common term or anything in my videos, but probably they will. Um, <clears throat> the downside is one of the plans with me going communist and joining the common term was because it was less likely that the common term would have nations in my way for forming Rome. France will at that point be in that situation, but I think it's going to be a good partnership. I mean, France plus Italy plus the Soviet Union versus the Axis equals probably good things? I don't know. I am eager to get back into the war with Yugoslavia because the war in Yugoslavia is, tends to be fast, lots of action, really great, makes you feel smart. The war in Czechoslovakia, on the other hand, makes you feel like you're smashing your head against a wall because you mostly are. They have a million land forts on the board right here. They must start with it with Austria? I don't know. But yeah, they have so many land forts, so the fighting here is quite slow, especially since we have we don't have access to paratroopers and we can't do a naval invasion. I mean, <clears throat> I guess I could sort of rewrite history and build some transport planes and do that. But no, no, we're, we're just going to repeat it. So we're going to continue with the plan that um, that I'd set up, I think, in the last video, assuming I don't know my timeline anymore. Everything's confusing and weird to me, um, which was to be defensive here on the... Um, on the Czechoslovakian front, just hold the line for as long as possible while we go and smack Yugoslavia around, and then we're going to go and reposition all our troops over here for a fairly long and protracted war, unfortunately. Um, Yugoslavia, what's our situation? We get some planes that are still moving around. It's April 27th when the war starts, right? So we got some time to do some rearrangement. That's fine. We're going to leave Albania unprotected over here. We're just using this as a way to just draw some of these troops around. We wanted to, in we wanted to annex... Um, Albania with our decision before they could be guaranteed by any nation. Um, and then that's just dealt with. But we're going to let them go and run through this. Some of their troops won't be around, where, whereas we're going to focus over here. Now watch something change and someone just... Like, like there was a lot of tension last time. Like, is someone going to go and, like, guarantee this guy in last minute or do anything weird like that? Watch it happen this time, and I'm just going to rip all my hair out. Is there any reason we're not going to continue down here? Um, actually... Research not good. This is good. We do get some fr uh, military factories over here, too. But no, we're going to keep going down here, get a research slot, and probably go straight for the oil. Speaking of oil, I want to make sure to import just a scooch of oil. We have a little in or Austria, which is nice. But we're going to um, import two factories worth from the Soviet Union here, I think. Didn't want to earlier because we needed the civilian factories to be able to, well, build more factories. But now we have a few more, which is good, and we're just about to start some fighting. So we're going to bank a bit more fuel. This is going to be really important, especially because I'm going to be using some ships over here for some coastal bombardment. Um, so I just just made this into one, right? Yes, excellent. Let's arrange our navy. We're, we're still not going to do a full navy setup. Well, uh, we're going to hold off on that for a little bit, but we're going to do a little work over here. Grab this task force, split you in half. Grab all these guys. Okay, so new theater. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do proper stuff with ships later. Later on, this is gonna become our raiders with our submarines. Later on, this is gonna become our escorts with our destroyers. Excellent. Um, but for now, the big thing is we've got uh, what will become our strike force later on with our capital ships. I'm gonna take this fleet. We're gonna be breaking it in half. Well, sorry, we're gonna be breaking the task force in half. Now we got I had this admiral with the battleship Adherent, but we've got this guy here too. Gunnery expert, battleship adherent as well, iron side for capital armor. I think the Admiral Carlo Bergamini, despite the fact that he's not our highest skill admiral, <clears throat> is going to be the admiral of our main battle fleet here because I think he's got some good traits. Um, I think, yeah, he's got big gun expert, capital ship attack, chance to receive critical hit minus 25%, shore bombardment. Okay. Oh, this is tough. As far as I understand it, I think critical hits are like really, 
really bad and really, really dangerous. So reducing that is really good. Big Gun Expert, also really good. The thing is, like, this is the biggest immediate benefit, the Ground Pounder. I don't think the uh, Shore Bombardment is going to be enough of a long-term thing. I think safety first. I think, I don't know the math, and I wish I'd actually checked it before doing this. I didn't think we'd have to look into the uh, combat mathematics for naval stuff yet. But I think this might be really handy. We'll grab that. Crisis Magician. This effects of sustained critical hits lower. So this is a re reduced chance to receive them. This is a reduced impact of when they hit. You know what? Maybe we'll just do the one safety first. I'd say that's good enough. And then we'll go and get big guns. Sure. I like big guns and I cannot lie. All right. You guys just sit there for now, though. We, we're not going to deploy you anywhere yet. Uh, we've got various planes happening here. So all of our f wings are going to help out. Well, not entirely true. Um, port fighters, and these are some more fighters over here. Yeah, okay. Um, I was gonna say, all of our, our wings are gonna be focused on Yugoslavia. We are gonna keep a fighter wing to provide interception duties in, um, what's this Arizona called? The Alpine region here. Because we might get bombarded. Um, and we can do a little air security as well to maybe help with the combat over here. But yeah, mostly these guys are just gonna try to hold the line. That is your goal. We've got about a month and a half left to go. We are training some troops over here. Let me cancel you, you, and you. Okay. Just just for now. Just to trim these numbers back and make it a little easier to finish these in time. Because you are going to have some more. Now, right now, again, the infantry and the garrison, very little different. The big difference is that the infantry has the engineer company, which gives it a bunch more defense and a bunch more entrenchment, which is what we're looking for. Uh, Production-wise over here, I'm going to do... I mean, I need this, but I do need a lot of... Uh, no, we need this. I don't think we're going to need enough factories, but I'm going to do something like this. Any chance we can make an alteration? Can we add line infantry or support infantry? Yeah, we can. We'll be slightly short, but we can add it in there, and we will. Although, keep in mind, a lot of that is over here. But you know what? That's that's going to be A-OK. -okay. The Mountaineers already have um, uh, support artillery, so that's going to be handy. This battle plan, Pakistan declares war on in India. It's kind of expected. Once uh, the Raj breaks away, that's going to be that. Uh, hopefully the National of Spain wins this. Um, last time they did. Um, did they just get pocketed over here? Good job, National of Spain. Um, we want them to win so we can get the, the, Belair, the Belaris here. Which they said yes to last time. Watch them say no this time. Just because, you know, that would be very rage-inducing. Oh my god, I'd be so salty. I can't believe I lost three freaking episodes of good stuff. Not only, like, good outcome in the game, but I felt like my commentary game was on point. Now I'm just going to be obsessing over the fact that everything's broken. I'm so sorry, you guys. <sighs> anyway, speed five. All right, a few days left to go. Communism building up. Excavation coming in as well. It is still 37. Let's grab the improved machine. Um, you know what? I'm going to change my mind. We're going to grab support weapons here. We're gonna we're gonna grab things that will help us in the coming conflict, especially against the Czechoslovakian front, because man oh man yeah those forts are gonna be a pain in the butt to get through. So yeah, the artillery should be more or less capped out by the time we start the war. We won't have much of a reserve, but it'll be okay. Our infantry equipment's going okay. You're gonna do this, all right? Just a week or so to go. I guess a week and a half. Uh, we can get our planes ready. So these fighters. And these tackle bombers. So you're going to come in here. You're doing air superiority and close air support. Over here, the close air support is going to come in here and do close air support. These fighters, though, are going to stay in the Alpine area. Your job is air superiority and interception. And day or night is going to be fine. And yeah, hopefully these guys... I mean, they should have full dig in. It might not be enough. There's some, you know, tanks and lots of attacks from different areas, but just hold the line. Um, you've got Mr. Blue. None of these guys have promotions waiting for them, do they? New. Nothing there. Okay. And that's that. So bring the speed down. Declare war. Go. We don't have any allies. Attack. Done and done. Um, so these battles have been told to go, so they will... Oh! My ships! Well, I mean, that's that's fine. Um, so, what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to move one fleet here and one fleet here. Or one task force here. They're going to provide short bombardment bonus to all the, the combat on the coast itself. Which is going to accelerate this and let us merge our two fronts here. Hopefully not everyone is going to walk out of here. I've seen that happen before, where they like all leave this province. You're like, uh, guys, someone's got to stay behind to keep a fort going. Um, I'm actually going to send the Mountaineers to here. And I keep one of these guys explicitly back here. 
There we go. That's going to be okay. All right, good movement there. And here... I wonder if we can reinforce by sending extra guys there. What are combat stats looking like? Um, they have air superiority. Really? This is the Alpine... Ooh. You know what? Um, our fighters... I'm going to split this wing in half. I'm going to have another fighter wing in the Alpine region. So yeah, we need, we need to hold this. We need to delay this as long as possible. Which worked out well last time. I'm going to say that a lot. We got volunteers from Germany. You know... It always makes me feel like I must be doing <clears throat> the right thing if uh, if Hitler agrees with what I'm doing. Yeah. Are we the bad guys? Are we the baddies? Hashtag, yes. Yes, we're totally the baddies. Okay, you're doing that. You're helping there. That's going to be good. So yeah, the war in Yugoslavia should go fairly quickly. And uh, at some point, these troops are going to be done in Albania. They're going to backtrack around here, and that's fine. Oh, yeah, I probably could have deployed more. Hold on. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. We'll do that. Um, that's eight. There you go. Reinforce this blue line. Uh, and the rest. There you go. 24 over there. That's going to be fine. Because, yeah, Yugoslavia, we got this. Holding the line against Czechoslovakia is surprisingly tricky. Well, that's different from last time. I think that's Okay. Oh, it's Lines. It's not the faction. Okay, last time he created the uh, the Baltic faction. Change in course. Strengthen government. Germany. Cola. Okay, that's fine. Sudetenland final fortifications. I think that's just forts over here. <clears throat> they got enough forts over here. But yeah, like level 5. Some of these are level... Oh, these are also level 5. I think they'll become level 7 from the Sudetenland. In any case, like, no matter what, we're going to have to go and hammer through a fort, which is not entirely fun. These guys can fall back. It's fine. In fact, I might want to fall back sooner. Can I do that? Just reinforce there. Which is now holding, but there you go. Ah, uh, then they moved in. They're going to... Eh, maybe that wasn't a great move. I'm not sure. Um, they can do this. Block that guy. Actually, hold on. Let's do that. Grab that victory point. And one of you is going to come around and do this. Okay. I like that. Block you off. That's going to be fine. Good movement all over. Okay. Air superiority is decent. Take here. Yeah, there we go. They're attacking from multiple directions, but we have air superiority. They have big stacks of dudes. Industrial effort is done. We're going to get the extra research slot. We're still trying to get ourselves over to more oil. You're going to get bopped. I'm actually going to pull you out of here. We're going to go into coast to go over here. Um, we're going to come here. Let me halt that. Sí, señor. I mean, this might overextend us. Maybe, you know, let's, let's just do a little of this. Excellent. Hindenburg disaster. Okay. Actually, I think the Hindenburg survived last time. Modified government. Um, what am I... Hmm. I don't remember. Honestly, I'm wondering if I should just get a chief of army. I mean, normally it's like you prioritize all the research things and everything. Oh, we don't have war economy. Let's do this. So it'll trim down our consumer goods factories and eliminate the penalty of fuel gain per oil. See? It's one of those things. I had assumed I'd done that one already, because I'd done it before. Alright, these guys are about to merge the front lines, which can eliminate certain concerns, maybe, with um, supply. Can you punch in there? I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you will be able to, yeah. And you can follow up with that. Denying this airfield would be very nice, too. I wonder if we can... It's a little tricky, but it looks like yes, and we may be able to pocket these guys. Um, let me get you to do something kind of like that. You're going to assist over here. There we go. German uh, divisions have arrived. Yay, we're the bad guys. Um, and we are getting pushed back here much faster than last time. Oh, man. Yeah, Linz did not fall, I think, at all last time. So this is actually displeasing me greatly. We do have some reinforcements. Let's get some more people in here. Because if we have to push back across the river, it'll be a pain. Although, honestly, not as much of a pain as the forts. Maybe there's something to be said about luring them into a slightly weaker defensive terrain in some way. So that way you can push through, and then while their org is still recharging, go for the next goop. Did I get you the charismatic? I did. Okay, good. Couldn't remember when that happened. Let's see if we can get Sarajevo. Uh, they're going to get pushed back there. No, assist that. They're pretty weak, but I'm still going to do this anyway. Um, tanks. Is there somewhere I can just beeline with you? I mean, 
What kind of terrain is this? Doesn't tell me in tooltip, really? Yeah, it's hills. All hills! Okay, there's planes over here, forest over there. We punch through these couple of hills, and the tanks will be able to go quite a lot faster. And again, tanks are in sort of air quotes, because our tanks are not terribly tanky, but I think I'm going to tell you to, like, try to do a run kind of like that. Punch through here. Not that you have much breakthrough or anything. These guys are about to leave the airport, which is kind of nice. Um, where the hell are you going? Oh, there's a little island over here. Probably get there first. Don't know. Okay, we got there first, although it might turn out okay. Just clean up the, the line a little bit. And there you go. Move in here. Take out the airport. I'm gonna get you to halt so you're not advancing. You can just defend. That's fine. Looks like we are gonna get through here, which is good. Meanwhile, all right, we still have lints for now. Holding Vienna. Holding here. Holding on the other side of the river. I mean, the thing is, we could have built a fallback line on the other side of the river, but... I like this. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm acceptably pleased with what's going on. Yeah, you're pretty beat up, I was going to say. It'd be nice to help in this thing. Actually, you help out here. You help out here. This tank, I'm going to get you to go this way. Excellent. Defense. Um... Why don't you go ahead? Actually, well, no, you're going to move in there. You'll get attacked. Just move in here. It's going to be fine. We can maybe help out there. All right. Slow down. That's fine. Okay. Over here. How's the air situation? Ooh, very yellow. Do we really need more planes? Well, we don't need more air superiority down there. So, okay. Our fighters, which are here... I'm going to have you both in the Alpine region. I'm also going to move you up here to make sure you've got range. Close air support. I'm going to get you to help out in the Alpine regions as well. Our tactical bombers, which have pretty good range, are going to do this. Oh, we did take that airport. Oh, excellent. So, tell you what. You're going to still provide combat support in the Balkans, but you're going to do it from here where you should have range everywhere. We won't have air superiority anymore, but I think that's going to be okay. might be moving forward into there, but that's all right. I don't think they're having some attrition. Oh, it's because they're in mountains, of course. Yeah. Moving or fighting in mountains, you get like 40% attrition. We might be able to go in there. I mean, cavalry moves as fast as my so-called light <clears throat> armored divisions, which are not very armory. How are we doing? Okay. Now, the problem is the counterattack. The counterattack is going to be... Oh, guys, it's going to be painful. Okay, there you go. You got that. Actually, you can maybe continue right to uh, Nice. I don't know. I mean, Nice. I don't know how to pronounce this one. I don't know what that accent on an S is. I'm not used to seeing a accents on consonants. Accents are mostly a vowel thing, at least for me. Or in French. I guess the exception would be, does a Cedille count as a... Oops. Come back here. Actually, just start an attack. You can probably lose, but that's okay. Just slow him down. Uh, the, the little thing under a seat. Um, in French and Spanish? I don't know how many languages use that. But French, certainly. I don't know if that counts as an accent or what that's referred to. You have no orc, but you can, you can still move. Pin that guy in. That's going to be okay. Uh, you're moving that way, which I guess is fun. You're coming to help out there. Actually, I'm going to get you to do this instead. Expandify things there. How close are you to capitulation? Okay, fairly close. Now... Something happened last time, and I was a little confused, and I'm curious to see if it'll happen again. Normally, when you're fighting someone, and you beat up a country, it capitulates. It gives you the equipment, it gives up the territory, and then you keep going with the rest of the war. Okay? Here, we're going to get... Assuming it works the same as last time, we're going to get a peace conference that happens. We're actually going to be able to divide up our territory. And I'm a little... Actually, you... Tie up these guys so they can't run away. Um, a little confused. I'm assuming it's because this is not actually a faction that's fighting. Because I think you don't get a peace conference normally maybe until the entire faction GG's gg's out. Um, and here, instead, it's a guarantee. So I think that may be the reason why we get a peace conference. But it's nice, because then we don't have to worry about partisans over here or anything like that while we fight against Czechoslovakia. Who are really, really quite tanky and hard to defeat. You're going to stand here and actually just assist in that. 
So we'll see if we can just block off some more things. You must be really close. Really close. One more victory point, maybe. And we are moving in over here to try that. We may also be able to grab Nice. Um, you're going to halt at this point, which is going to be okay. Nice pilot. Okay. Move in, move in. And this tank. Looks like we're about to take that. Podgorica? That may be all we need. How are we doing up here? Okay, we lost this province. Holding the river. Uh, oh, that's Germany. I'm like, why are we counterattacking? Oh, that's just Germany. Looks like we're going to lose Linz, and then we'll reestablish across the river. That's probably fine. Um, cavalry, please. Let's do this way. Stop, going, try, stop trying to go through the defended territory. It must be faster for some reason, but I don't know why. It's one river crossing another province of... But, yeah. There we go, do that. And that might be the surrender. And actually, or Podgorica. Or both. I don't know. Hey, excellent. We're going to take all the states. Done. Done. Excellent. One amazing thing about taking this, if we go over to resource map mode, look at the chromium. So much chromium. Very nice. All right, you're up here. What we're going to do right first is I'm going to just put a generic battle line here. I'm going to strategically redeploy you over here as well. Generic battle line here. We're going to redraw those, but the first priority is just to get people sort of up here, and then we'll reorganize some stuff. Uh, these ships can go away. You can just go and dock yourself. That's fine. Stop using some fuel. Done, done, done. And we'll confirm here. Navy is a zero. Air's there. Okay. Now, air, air power. We've got you over here. You're going to come here. Um, actually, I think all our planes are going to be in that one area now, right? I think that's true. Okay. You're all going to operate in the Alpine region. We're going to turn on strategic bombing of only forts. Because, actually, the Alpine one won't work. We need to turn on strategic bombing of forts in the Czechoslovakia air zone. But, I don't have any fighters there right now. Okay, so I'll turn off strategic bombing. Um, we may need the interception. Close air support in this. Okay, so until we start pushing against the actual forts... We'll just do this. Everyone's coming to the front. I'm surprised they didn't cross the river here, but I guess that's fine. Um, this is flat with no forts. Flat with no forts. Um, two provinces from here. It's only one. Uh, three provinces can attack here. It's a forest with no forts. Still, attacking from three is probably better. So, group purple. With our best general, you are going to be our attacker. I actually remove this, and then I'm going to draw here. So these... Um, oh, because you still ain't got lints. Okay, do that, and your battle plan... I mean, maybe I don't even... No, you got to draw a battle plan. I don't think it's there. I think we kind of need to go up this way. Split the country a bit in half. I think I'm going to draw it as a spearhead to Bruno to start off with, as the plan. But mostly I'm going to right-click on this province to get it started. Now, we need to make sure you have all the best troops loaded in there. Cavalry is not going to be one of those. These colonial divisions can also be removed here. Uh, oh, mountain divisions. We want those, and then what we'll do is we'll pull out one of the regular infantry and do something like that. Okay. And what we could do, we could just put the green maybe over here, and then the blue on the other side. Uh, we'll figure it out. We, we have to make sure, we're not going to be attacking with everyone across the board. Because I, I thought I could do a, an army group front line here, but that's not what we're looking to do. Okay, it cool. may be worth getting planning bonus. Oops, circumnavigate the globe. Okay, it may be worth getting planning bonus before we go. We'll see. He doesn't have a lot of work right now. I wonder, can we punch through now? I know this is not a very good, like, encirclement thing can't do it here because you're defending. But we actually might be able to get a little tempo if we can clear this. Good. Good. We have air support, attack in multiple direction, and they are penalized because of the air security situation. Not being very quick. And their infantry, they got a lot of defense. They've dug in a little bit. Luckily, they didn't have full orb. 
We've got that going for us. We're going to open up another front up here because we've got tons of reserves here. We need more combat with so we can throw more people into the combat simultaneously. We need to open up the combat from over here, which isn't going to happen, unfortunately, until they stop attacking. And then Germany's attacking here. Whee! On the other hand, you know, we're burning them down. Actually, they're really vulnerable. We may be able to counterattack, like, this fort. Uh, no, they're recharging fairly quickly. I think the thing to do is to finish the punch through over here. Then we won't have a river crossing to worry about. This province here has no forts whatsoever. Um, it is hilly. But we could probably continue, although we can only attack from two provinces there. Formazione. Yeah, we're going to do... Alpine, assist. There you go. I mean, it's just got the extra size. We got 160 combat width now. We can get another 12 width division in here, which that's still at this time what our infantry is, right? Yeah, 12. It's awkward, but it still actually works into a lot of the multipliers a lot. It's actually surprisingly okay. Renewal of the Rome Protocols. Italy, Hungary, renewed Rome Protocols. Okay, that's not the faction. So we have to be a little bit. There's all sorts of funky faction stuff that can happen. We still have tons of reserves. Indeed, we do. Combat width is good. Uh, 11 days. Although, they're going to bring reinforcements in and out. I mean, this is not a very defensible position either, because it's flat. We can be attacked by two sides, but... I don't want to lift this attack. Although, it's going a little bit backwards now. I guess, they're, yeah, they're bringing quite a bit of fresh reinforcements. What if I do start an attack here? I pull back um, some of these guys to assist. Then they're gonna have to choose where they, which battle they reinforce. Um, yeah, highways. Yeah, we need to get the oil going. Yeah, we're running an oil deficit right now. We got that coming on. Yeah, we're gonna hold off on that. Um, it's not quite early enough. Oh, we can get a boost to our artillery. That seems like a pretty good idea. I mean, it's green in a couple places, and then Germany's like, No, I must attack here! No! You must assist my current combats! What are you doing? Um... We're in there. Yeah, because you didn't have anything in reserve, so... Please. And here we still have tons of reserves, right? Yeah. What I'm gonna do... I'm actually gonna send these over here. So we have a few more reserves ready to join in the fight. And yeah, so welcome to the Czechoslovakian battle. It's going to be all like this. Ideally, we'd bypass the front line somehow, but that's not really in the cards. We don't have the paratroopers. There's no coast that we can do. It's going to be a bit of a grind because they have a lot of troops and they're surprisingly well, like, like well equipped. Um, and that's before we get to the forts. At least with the forts, we will do some bombardment. But yeah, for right now, we just have to just focus on the Alpine region because it's going to cover the battles that we're doing now. As soon as we push up to here. I think everything's going to transfer over into the Czechoslovakian air zone, and we're going to try to bomb the crap out of their forts, because we're really not going to have any other option. Well, we're going to put a cut in here. Um, so this is the first of our repeat episodes. I'm, I'm so stressed, you guys, about what the heck's going to happen. They're going to go King's Party. Okay, that's the same as last time. King's Party is the same as they did last time, so at least, you know, I don't know if that's best for us or not. I have no idea, but it's nice to see some, uh, some repetition there. Romanian bridgehead strategy. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if any factionizing happens here. Um, National of Spain, are you going to lose? If you lose... I don't think we get the Balearics. And then if they turn communist, what does that do? And in, in France is also communist? I mean, a giant communist bloc. Yay. I, that, that might slow down our Roman stuff. But I guess we can always come back to it. We can take like, everything else except not the French bits. Yeah, I don't know. I'm confused. Well, we'll put a cut in here. Folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.